Looks like the dog got in there. Just on the corner. <laughs> Are you the culprit? Time to drag her down to the bottom of the yard. Down there. So look at this thing. Two thousand and six. Yeah, let's see. These have never been off. Look at that. Bubbles. Two bubbles. And I showed that in the last video there. Poor 15. This is poor 15 too. It didn't all fail, but... Oh, that's mostly dirt, actually. Mm, no, it's rust. Okay, let's drag her out. For that theory, I thought it would. Okay, that's all. Have to tie it onto the back. Posts, or I mean a ridge beam, and then some plastic. And I'll fasten it up here. Ooh. 
Good to see that. Down here. Tripping on that damn thing. And look like hell. People going, what are you going to do with that thing? <laughs> I'm going to fix it up. Isn't it hooped? No, it's not hooped. It's good. Get the hell out of here. Most the fence was a little wobbly. It's only a four by four, three and a half by three and a half actually. So this way it firms it up. I don't really use my trailer. Didn't even use it last year. Flat tires. So it shouldn't get in the way, I don't think. There she is, she's got some air space run alongside there. Yeah. Only casualties were little scratches on the bumper and right up there. Pushing it in with a tire. Um, push it up with right on the bumper to bumper. Perfect. Out of the way. I got some privacy now with that fence built. Let's get on the wagon. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Man, yeah, this was a pain in the ass getting out of We're blasting. This is better. That's good to go now, I think. Okay, just going over last minute. Catching, sandblasting.
Rust. Under the caulking. Rust looks pretty good. Well, a little bit of caulking there. Okay, get the blaster. Than looks. Okay. I think I'm ready for primer now. It's all done down there, screwed up there. We got some welds down here too, right in that spot. A bit on the flange right there. Lots of primer on there. It's hard getting in the door pillar here. Uh, Sam blasted the the lap here where the caulking was coming out. It's been about five hours. Okay. I got the other side done there too. And you see it's kind of flat now because I brush blast it with the blaster there. So that's been etched. Two coats of primer one coat of top coat and I'll go over and redo the whole thing now or you know redo it there and put a one coat on here and the other side
Let's have a lookies. I get my headlight on. Mm. Oh, spot up there. Oh, all the way along there. Missed it. A little bit up there. A little bit in there. And down here. I'll mix up a little batch. And do that. So I find leaving this about like a week, let it really cure, uh, a little bit up there, let it off gas, oh, spots there, and then it doesn't interfere with the welding as bad, it's not causing the wells to pop and stuff. Oh, that's pretty stinky, so I think I'm just gonna leave this area and go on to sandblasting this. Gently get it out of here. So the sand doesn't go everywhere. Okay, I'll take that outside and blast it. Uh, this flange I'm going to have to rebuild. That's okay. This is uh, a seam sealer here. So I'll scrape that up. It might have to, might have to be cut off. I'll see how it comes up when I blast it. Back on the build. Well, sort of in my living room. <laughs> I worked on this today. Welded in some new metal. Uh, I just left this big, bigger than it needed to be. I think it's a, a square, an even square here for the antenna. The nipple's right underneath here in the cowl. And I brought it in the house because the underside was really rough. That heavy scale rust that you see in a junkyard when vehicles are out in the elements. Like the old trucks would just be solid rust, but haven't rusted through. And probably mostly because they're thicker gauge metal, but so I'm I'm leaving it in the house because when you blast rust like that, like thick rust, it kind of tends to start to uh, flash rust on you. So you got to keep it warm, keep it out of the humidity. So I brought it in the house tonight and I still want to cut this section out here. A little bit of pitting here and there, outside in rust. And some tears from me getting the spot welds off. <sighs> Casualties of the job, you always seem to wreck it a little bit, but that's what you got to do. And actually, there is a replacement cowl with the louvers and everything. The full cowl comes down here and 
laps right flush with the firewall it's the whole thing uh, it's down in the states I think it was uh, 250 American and I looked at this and went well you know what I can I can fix this for cheaper than that and you know I, I, I'd get the new one and then start butchering it cutting stuff off that I I don't need so it kind of seemed like really it wasn't money well spent so I elected to rebuild this one I think it'll be fine had to put the uh, shrinker stretcher on it I stretched it here you can see the marks and shrunk it here to get that curve it still needs to be fine-tuned I'll find out when I go to to made it to the to the lip that I rebuilt see how good a fit it is Remember the flange is a little wider here on the outsides. A little tight there. There's enough overlap. Oh, lift it up here. Gotta allow for a saw blade right like that. Which makes a difference. Thank <laughs> you. 